Hello guys, Prohub27 with you today with another cool tutorial. A lot of you have been asking for this tutorial. I just, this is like the first time that somebody has replied so fast to my videos or actually commented. But here you guys want, want a video? Sure, no problem. Uh, you, wanna, you wanna download Resource Hacker? Link for this in the video description. Just go here and right there. No, not this one, this one here. You wanna just, I'm gonna post the direct link as well as the source link, or as was this link. But the rec link is in case you don't want to surf this page and trying to find where it's at. If you just click on it, click on the video description, and it's going to automatically take you to the download, download box. So, let's begin. First of all, you want to go ahead and, after you finish downloading Resource Hacker, go ahead and install it. I assume you know how to install, I assume you know how to install applications by now. If you don't, then... I don't, I don't know how to help you. Go to start, you want to go to computer, you want to go to local disk C. We want to back up the original file in case we screw up, because if we don't back it up and we screw up, then you can have to reinstall the whole entire application from scratch because we screwed up the file and it's not working anymore. So go to program files, and but if you follow my tutorial, you're not going to screw it up, don't worry. Go down and find Sony. Find Vegas Pro. And whatever version you have of Vegas, scroll down and find the original uh, file. So here's Vegas 10.0.exe. I'm gonna right click and you wanna copy this. Paste it, paste it right now, paste it on your desktop just so that we can uh, so we can have it in case we screw up, so we can just copy and paste it straight from here. Also, let me just show you that when I open up Sony Vegas Pro, I get the original boring splash screen that everybody has so uh, yes let me close this out okay so we're gonna be replacing that splash screen with this one I'm not gonna be going over, over the tutorial on how to design it I assume you, I I will assume that you guys know if not uh, I'll probably make a tutorial on that later but if you don't have Photoshop uh, go to this website here pixelr.com slash editor and this is like a Photoshop-like application inside the internet, so you don't need to download or pay for anything. So here's my here's the here's the screen that I'm gonna replace my Sony Vegas splash screen with. I'm gonna go ahead and exit this for now. We're gonna open up Resource Hacker. Uh, we're gonna open up the file, the original file. If you go to Start Programs, you wanna go back to its original directory, and you wanna take the original file, right-click, and open it up with Resource Hacker. You should have an option up there. Hold up, right click and open using Resource Hacker. If you don't have that option, well then you should just drag and drop this application on top of Resource Hacker, which will give you the same exact options here. So here I already have it opened. Uh, we're going to it's gonna be your splash screen is gonna be in the binary folder. So you wanna wanna press the plus sign on the side of the binary. And for me it's the 159. Uh, box here. If you don't know what it is, just just press on the plus of the very first one. Nope, it's not this one. The second one. Oh, it is this one, but it's in another language. So 1033 is the English language. Remember 1033. That's gonna we're gonna need to remember that for the future. Uh, 1033 is the English language. So after you have uh, you want to right click after you have found your source file resource file, right click and press this third option. Save binary 159 1033 whatever. Press on that. And as you can see, it's saving it as a PNG format. Now, the reason why other resource editors won't work is because they view this as a binary file and they just convert it into hexadecimals and you won't able to see a thing. So save this as whatever you want. It doesn't need to be the exact name of 1033 or something. Just say this as my reference. And you can use this for reference if you want to load this inside of Photoshop or that link that I just showed you here. You want to load that up there. And you can actually just get the correct dimensions. You can get everything from here and just customize. That's how I did my. That's how I did my logo. So here's this one. I want to replace it with this one. To replace a source inside of Resource Hacker, you want to right click and you want to put place. Pl uh, press replace resource. So uh, you're gonna have a box like this. You're gonna have an option open file with new resource. Press that. It's going to automatically direct you to a folder. Go ahead and go wherever you need to go to find your file. Mine is located on my desktop, so I don't need to go anywhere else. But scroll down and find my file here. It's this one. You want to press open. 
Now, when you press open, you're going to have three boxes here. And it took me a while to figure out what I had to read a tutorial. But resource type, it's the binary file. So you want to type in binary. The resource name, it's the folder name, 159, 159. And the resource language, remember we said that English was 1033. Be sure to include that in this box. So it's, it's located in the binary folder. If we go back to here, it's in the binary folder 159. You see we pressed the minus there. And it's the 1033. That's the language that we need to replace. So binary 159 and 1033, replace. And here we have it. Here is our uh, customized splash screen. You want to go to file and you want to press save and exit. Now when you open up Sony Vegas, you can see that our customized splash screen took place of the original one, and it looks freaking awesome. Now guys, this is the very first tutorial. I actually haven't found a tutorial on the internet on how to do that. I had to actually try this out by myself. So I'd appreciate if you guys leave me a comment, money, bank account information, social security, and stuff like that, because, you know, it's took me kind of a while to figure out. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and be sure to check out my other tutorial which in, the, in which I will show you how to customize uh, the, the, the splash screen. In case you don't know how to use Photoshop, I'll go over step by step in a very long, boring tutorial just for you. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and enjoy your new splash screen inside of Sony Vegas. Goodbye. Alright guys, so before I create a tutorial, a step by step tutorial on how to customize your splash screen, Please leave me a comment below and if you need that help because I don't want to make it and then nobody has nobody watches it. So if you guys want a tutorial, be sure to leave me a comment below so I would know that you actually need it. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.